Randall, what was your reaction to the overturn of Roe v. Wade? I started crying my eyes out. I've been fighting for this moment for four decades. And it's, it's like taking Normandy Beach. It's, it's, it's not total victory, but it's an important victory. And our mission will not be complete until we get to Berlin. We will make it a crime in all 50 states to kill a baby from conception until birth. Period. What would you say to the Supreme Court justices that had their lives threatened and uh, still ruled to overturn Roe v. Wade? Thank you for having the courage and the integrity to do the right thing and to finally bring justice to the baby. I thank God for Justice Thomas. I thank God that Roberts made the right choice. And I thank God for President Trump who appointed these three courageous justices who overturned Roe. Thank you. Be safe out there. Thank you. Did you know it's a weird camera angle? Where do you want me looking? No, the camera's fine. <laughs> well, but my eye line is weird. Yeah, anything works. All right. I'm trying to I'm trying to hold my arm straight for later when things get crazy. <laughs> Take right. care. You're welcome. Good luck. Yep. <laughs> Likewise. Um, in a minute. When you I would say thank you for being courageous. I would say God bless you. You're amazing and brave and wonderful, and you did God's work today. What's your name? I'm um, sorry, I can't get my name on the record. My boss doesn't like it. <laughs> You're good. Have a good one. You too. That was my first ever rally, and you know she and her family have been. You want to give us your reaction? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, wow. I mean, we kind of figured that this was going to happen with the leak, but hearing those words, Kristen Hawkins stood at the podium and said that row was reversed. We all just started bawling. Um, it's surreal. We all hoped this would happen, but um, hearing it is just unbelievable. And I'm really excited because the work that we're doing on both the state and federal level to protect all babies, regardless of the circumstance of their conception, from the moment of conception, um, we are just going to work our butts off <laughs> to do everything we can to protect these innocent babies. No, Brooke, right? Yeah. I mean, you've been here for years, too. I mean, yeah. right? How did you feel when, when you actually heard the news for the first time? Uh, I mean, I, it's hard to describe. I, I wish I had gotten that moment on video, but I just wanted to experience it, and it was just like the biggest amount of relief you could ever imagine. Um, and just like just a flood of tears. I'm so unbelievably happy. I don't think I've ever been this happy in my life and uh, just astonished but so excited. This is just the beginning. Like this is we're gonna celebrate 
today, but tomorrow we're going to get to work. Rose is saying to me, so disgusting. They still had their lives They still had their lives out. They still had their lives out. Even though their lives were really happy. Yeah. I mean, they did the right thing. And, uh, and we appreciate that they did the right thing, but regardless of political pressure, and I think the fact that they didn't give in to political pressure is so important because if they were to change the decision based on these threats, then that would just completely undermine the whole judicial system. And honestly, democracy and, and our system of government would be over if you prove that violence and threats could just change decisions regardless of, of the moral value of them and the legal value. So I think this is a huge victory, not only for life, but for our government. And what do you think the effect will be on the state? Because a lot of states right now, like certain people, may want to get an abortion, right? So do you think it's going to change anything geographically, or how does it look for you? Okay, cool. I mean, for us, we're going to be working in all the states to make sure that not only life uh, is protected and abortion is legal, it's illegal, but we want to also make it unthinkable. So regardless of if a state or city is blue or red or purple, um, life is important and valuable, it's worth protecting. And we, we see here today, we see people from all sides of the political spectrum, um, from all different backgrounds, coming together conception, and so I know that throughout the country, this can be a reality everywhere, that everyone protects human life, and I, I hope we look back on this in 5, 10, 20 years and be like, how could we have ever supported the killing of innocent human babies, and I think that will, will be a reality one day. Do you have any advice to owners of pregnancy centers for this, this coming weekend? I mean, they got to stay strong. They're doing the right thing. They're fighting the good fight. And we've lived, I've only lived in a society where um, abortion is, is legal. And I think people, a lot of people don't know what Roe means. They don't realize that it means that abortion is not completely illegal. It just goes back to the states and federal le uh, legislators and the American people. Um, but uh, what's important is that they got to keep going. They got to do what's right. And they, they, I know they will because they are speaking with these women on a daily basis, they're hearing the hurt in their hearts and, and the, their desire to not kill their baby, they just feel stuck. And it's more important now, it's more now than ever vital that they continue the life-saving work that they're doing. Thank you, Brooke. Take care. Yeah.